Hello everyone. We will show you how to design an assisted multi-line diagram. In the project tab, click on new to create a new project. Enter the project name, for example, bakery. Select material. In the properties tab, you can modify the marking and the description of the material. Click on Diagram and select Assisted Multi-Line Diagram. The principal incoming type should be Non-Project Location. That's also the default setting. The incoming properties have to be defined. Click on Finish to validate. Now we will insert some products into the diagram table. Firstly, we have the main switch gear. Click on the cell where the product should be located and enter the catalog. Select the MCCB using the filters. Add the accessories if needed. In this example, we will add an add-on block, an auxiliary contact, and a shunt trip. Click on Add at the bottom of the page and the products are included into the diagram table. Now we will insert a line in the upstream part of the MCCB in order to add a circuit breaker for instance. For this, right click and select Insert Line. Click on the cell and select the product in the catalog using the filters. Add the accessories if needed and click on Add. Now we will add an outgoing for a sub-panel. Select the cell and click on Symbols in the Project Structure tree. That's a different way to add a product without entering the catalog. If you click on your product symbol, the catalog filters will be updated at the same time. Click on Add to add the product. The catalog can be minimized to offer a better visibility of the diagram table. The circuit type has to be changed to distribution panel. Now we will go to the second worksheet below the orange line. We will add a circuit breaker IEC 25 amps from the catalog with an add-on block. Then we will add 5 MCBs 10 amps to go faster in the design of the diagram. The lighting group can be duplicated. For this, click on the first product. Press and hold the shift key and click on the last product. Then right click, select copy and paste the lighting group on the third worksheet. The designations and the circuit markings have been automatically renumbered. And all the products have been inserted into the diagram. Now we will look for the first lighting group. It is in the second worksheet. You can have a closer look at its properties using the available zoom in the Display tab. Let's go back to the diagram table. We will add a latching relay from the catalog. This time, we will not search for the product in the hierarchy. We will enter the keywords into the search bar. The filters will help you to refine your search 
Once you've found the right product, click on Add. The option of connection should be four wires. The product has been added to the diagram table and to the diagram. In the distribution menu, click on distribution to check the phase distribution. If you need to modify a junction, click on manual, select the product and the right connection. Then click on allocate. Let's go back to the diagram table. Now we will add some information about the outgoings. Enter the location name, for example, kitchen or cloakroom. Indicate the power. The current is automatically calculated. Select the cable type and the section. Enter the length. Then go back to the diagram. If you zoom in on the diagram, you can read some information, such as the cable type or the designations. If you wish to customize the display of these information, click on Settings. Circuit Area. By selecting another cartridge type, the display of the information on the diagram will change. For example, we can read now the current and the cable length. 